there are three things that everyone wants from their glasses. They want them to be comfortable. They want them to be durable and hassle-free. And of course, they want them to look good as well. And the one brand that is pretty much at the top of the list in all of those categories is Reykjavik Eyes. And that's why I believe they are the best glasses in the world. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about the history of Reykjavik Eyes, how they're made, how they're designed, what makes them so special, and giving you a tour of the entire collection, showcasing some of the best models. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And throughout the years, with the thousands of clients that I've met and recommended glasses to, Reykjavik Eyes is the brand that I've recommended more than any others. And by the end of this video, you'll see exactly why. So, let's start by looking at some of the styles. This first one you may recognize, this is called the Rykard. And this is a frame that I wear myself. These are my go-to glasses. Obviously not this pair, these don't have my prescription in, but I wear an identical pair to this. And it's a really cool, really modern aviator shape with a very close double bridge at the top. And this very deep green color, a lot of people don't realize it's green until I tell them or until they see it up close. But it just keeps it that bit more interesting than a typical gray or black frame. Now the first thing you'll notice when you wear a pair of Reykjavik Eyes frames as you slide them onto your face is that you don't even realize you've done it. <laughs> I feel no different wearing them than not wearing them, honestly. And they're pretty much the only glasses I can say that about. They weigh so little, it's only a few grams, they weigh so little that you're not aware of them in any way and they're certainly not uncomfortable. Far from it. The feeling is unlike hardly any other glasses in the world. And that's the first thing that people are drawn to about Reykjavik Eyes frames. This next model, by the way, is called the Heimdall. And the second thing that people are aware of when they put on a pair of Reykjavik Eyes glasses is that they feel flimsy. They definitely don't feel like a strong pair of glasses. They're very deceiving. Because they flex and they bend so much, they feel like they might just fall apart. And to the untrained eye, that's what they expect. So most people give them straight back to me saying, no, no, I break those in two minutes. But these are made from beta titanium. And better than that, they're made from a single sheet of beta titanium. Now, beta titanium is what is used in aircraft. So the material itself is very, very durable. But where titanium can be problematic is when it's soldered together from different pieces. So the manufacturing process involved in Reykjavik Eyes eliminates that issue. It means that you have a virtually indestructible frame. This is the Scardi, by the way, in this fabulous orange, orangey red shade. Really stunning and really eye-catching piece, especially in the round shape. It's one of our most popular styles. As I shall now demonstrate, Reykjavik Eyes frames are unbelievably strong. I'm putting my entire force into that and the frame hasn't broken. In fact, it's still good as new. Look, I can wear it just like I did a minute ago and it feels exactly the same. That manufacturing process also eliminates the need for any screws. And that means that frames like the Edel here in this brilliant white and the Delling in this vibrant purple require no maintenance. You don't always have to keep tightening the hinges like you do with most frames. You don't have to put them back together when the screw comes out and the arm falls off. None of that with Reykjavik Eyes. By the way, these are beautiful examples of the ladies styles within the collection. Reykjavik Eyes cater to ladies just as much as to men and these two styles are a great example of that. Now style is very subjective and whilst I personally appreciate the minimalism of the regular Reykjavik Eyes styles, a lot of people want something a little bit bolder and a little bit more definition on the face. And that's where the acetate models come in. So this is the Marcus, for example, and this combines a blue metal frame, which underneath is exactly the same as the styles we've looked at already in terms of the construction, but with the addition of a tortoiseshell lens rim. And that just, again, it gives it that little bit more presence, a little bit more boldness for those who like that. The Marcus, by the way, is perfect for more smaller guys, people who don't have such a big head, it's quite a small fit. One of my favorites from within the entire collection is the Carl, which is one of the other acetate models. This is obviously a very typical square aviator frame, but you've got the lightweight aspect that I've talked about so far. These don't feel any heavier than the other models, and yet you've got a lot more style and substance to them. You've got the orange color on the inside, which just gives them an extra bit of quirkiness. And this is a particularly good model for those with a larger head. And finally, the Sophie pairs two different shades of purple together with the lens rim contrasting against the frame, but in hues which are quite close to each other. And therefore, it kind of blends together, but with a little bit of pop of color around the eyes. This is a really great style for ladies. Now, for a lot of people, they want to go in the other direction. For a lot of people, even a frame like this 
it's too much frame. And that's where Reykjavik guys have designed the rimless models. Obviously, some people want glasses that almost disappear. And with these models, you've got that. This one, by the way, is called the Edvin. And I do like the luminous green on the inside. That's a color that you'll see repeated throughout the Reykjavik Eyes collections. It's one of the most prominent inner colors. It's not for everyone. A lot of people tell me that they don't like it, but I personally think it adds a level of interest to a frame that otherwise would be quite boring. And speaking of color, you could not get much brighter than the Arno, which is in this hot pink color. This is a great place for me to talk about the paintwork that is applied to Reykjavik Eyes frames. It's done in such a particular way that's actually the envy of manufacturers all around the world. A lot of people want to figure out how Reykjavik eyes have managed to apply paint in such a consistent way to titanium. You see, titanium usually is very, very, very difficult to paint, and that means that it often chips and the paintwork can start to peel off over time, which is a pretty nasty look. Obviously, it leaves them looking a bit shabby. With Reykjavik eyes, that hardly ever happens. I've almost never seen the paintwork chip off a Reykjavik eyes frame. And that means that two, three years down the line, you've still got a pair of glasses that almost looks new. The newest release within the Reykjavik eyes collection are the rimless tech frames. And with this style, Reykjavik eyes have taken the concept of rimless glasses, but added a colored insert around the lens rim. And this just bridges the gap between something that's a little bit more bold with a very thin frame like this and a fully rimless style. It's kind of a halfway for those who find that to be their sweet spot. So you're probably starting to gather that there really is something for everyone within the Reykjavik Eyes collection. And that's one of the things that I love about it. You know that people's priority is gonna be comfort and durability, but then having that comfort and durability, you still have the flexibility of choosing a look that fits your personality. That model is called the Eric, by the way, and its counterpart is the Alexis with again, the contrasting pink, uh, with a almost brushed finish on the metalwork and the hot pink lens rim. Really cool frame for those who like quite small glasses. I personally think the fashions are moving a little bit away from this towards those slightly bigger styles that we've looked at so far, but some people want a really petite fitting frame and the Alexis is great for that. Now, if you want to add an element of luxury to your eyewear, the gold edition frames do just that. These are regular Reykjavik Eyes designs made in just the same way as all the others that we've looked at, but with an extra layer of 18 karat gold plating. And not only do they look that little bit more luxurious, that little bit more premium, that little bit more classy, they feel it as well. They really do. Although the paintwork is beautiful on the other Reykjavik Eyes models, there's just something about gold plating that just feels really sleek and smooth as you wear it. Even as I touch the frame to hold it, to put it onto my face, it just feels really sleek and smooth, and I love that feeling. I also love the style as well. Gold is one of the most on-trend colors in 2021, definitely going into 2022. I don't think that trend is going to go away. A lot of people like the vibrant colors, and that's cool. You know, these are really fun, really exuberant, but for something that's slightly more timeless, and like I said, at the very cutting edge of fashion, gold is the way to go. And this particular one, which is called the Craffler, it's a really cool round frame, which I think lends itself to the gold color. And that frame can be worn by either men or ladies, but for those who want a very obviously masculine style, the Kerid gives you that. It's a bit more of a conventional shape. I personally find it a little bit boring, but if you want that conventional shape, but with a luxurious finish, this achieves that. Before we finish, there are also sunglasses available within the Reykjavik Eyes range for both people who need prescription and those who just wear sunglasses as they are off the shelf. The Mr. Puffin is one that, if you follow this channel, you'll have seen before because I wear it myself. I have it with my driving lenses. And when I'm driving, I like to be focused on the road, of course. I don't want to be thinking about my glasses. And what I really like about the Mr. Puffin is how you get that panoramic, that complete, perfect peripheral vision, but it's still as effortlessly light as all the other models within the range. But our most popular sunglass from Reykjavik Eyes is definitely the Mr. Raven. Perhaps because it's just that little bit more understated, a little bit more, I guess, average in terms of size and shape, but it's okay. It's still a cool style. There's a ladies equivalent, of course. The Mr. Owl is one that I recommend a lot to ladies because it just seems to hit that perfect sweet spot of being big enough to look fashionable and give good coverage for the eyes, but not being too oversized where it kind of drowns someone. And they're just, a really cool everyday classic sunglass style that's still got that hint of interest about it with this plum finish on the paintwork. And to end the video, let's talk about the Victor, which is a 
perfect name for a really victorious achievement by Reykjavik Eyes in creating the world's first one-piece frame with one-piece lens. So that means there's no divide between the right and left lens, combined with that one-piece frame design. A really cool concept, really futuristic and modern in its design. It's not going to be for everyone, and it's the only style that can't be made in prescription, unfortunately. But for those who wear non-prescription sunglasses, who want something a bit different, really functional, like I say, futuristic, the Victor is a really good option. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Reykjavik Eyes range. I hope by now you appreciate why I think they are the best glasses in the world. If you disagree, leave a comment below and I'd love to hear what you think might be better than Reykjavik Eyes if you know of anything that could compete. But if you did enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.